So I'm just taking advantage of a little bit of a cooler morning. The bees aren't flying yet. Uh, we had the crew ready to go to start digging down into the brood nest, but the bees aren't flying, so they're not going to help us out too much today. Uh, so I sent them off to do a little bit of housekeeping work. I'll keep them busy until the sunshine comes out. Uh, and if it starts to rain on us, hopefully we get some rain. Uh, we'll spend some time in the honey house to tidying the place up and doing some maintenance on some equipment. So I'm just taking out some hives, taking advantage of this morning, just cleaning up the last little hives in my home yard here. What is there, like 25 or 26 colonies here? I have a farmer that's been bugging me for some bees because they have lots of apple trees in their yard. And I will bend over backwards to accommodate anybody who you know, appreciates bees like this guy does. Well, he's a gardener, so he knows what the act of pollination is all about. So he's been after me and I have been busy and I just haven't got him there. And we're pretty late this year, really late. The apples aren't blooming yet, like middle of May already. And we're, we don't even have dandelion flow yet. So I've been, you know, procrastinating, but this is ideal morning to move bees. And these trees are gonna start to bloom any time now. So I'm gonna get these out to them. I'm gonna give them a whack of bees. That should satisfy his flowers and his garden. So it's not, I don't want to call it a bother um, setting up these little yards for my neighbors around because it certainly is not. I uh, benefit from these farmers uh, from their land. I make my money off their crops and if they have, you know, even a second thought towards uh, the appreciation of my honeybees I bend over backwards to make sure these guys are happy because if they're thinking about my bees they're gonna be thinking about my, my bees throughout the entire season and it just establishes and or reinforces that line of communication between the beekeeper and the grower and it's a bit of a compliment the guy's coming to me asking me uh, to provide my service to benefit his his garden and on the flip side of that he provides me the abundance of nectar across its fields without any other beekeeper around it keeps everybody else off for me and that alone is worth a fortune to me so it helps me establish my apron nice neat and tight here so anyways this is what I'm doing it's gonna kind of use up the morning here hopefully either hopefully the Sun comes out or hopefully we get shut down to rain the guys are working long hours in the field right now trying to get uh, as much crop in as we can. We have the cereals in. We're chipping away at canola. We're, we feel safe putting canola in right now. We don't get in any hurry to put canola in. Uh, we like to put it in when it's warm and uh, maybe a little bit later. It does help my bees, <clears throat> but they're not making a decision on my bees. Uh, we're just trying to avoid uh, some of that early flea beetle pressure. We like to drop that canola seed down, get a rain and warm soil, and then that crop just seems to have more vigor than that early stuff that just struggles through the cold and the bugs. The corn is being put in, sunflowers put in yesterday. We're in pretty good shape. Uh, soybeans will be coming up next. So we are chipping away at our workload. Cattle are heading out. The gr grass is just starting to grow. We need some rain for the grass. It is slow this year. But our silage pile is running out, so we're just moving them out. <clears throat> and our yard's a mess. You know, this time of year the frost comes out and it just becomes overbearing. So we're taking animals out to the pasture and actually taking silage out to the pasture just to help them along until the grass perks up a little bit more. Confining them into a paddock just to keep the pressure off the grass until it's ready. So there is a lot going on. And it's got that that feeling like I'm just smelling the the brood from these hives as I'm loading you know that smell of pollen as they're making the pollen as it's turning into bee bread you got that fermentation smell off that bee bread and you know I attribute that to brood within the nest so that smell of brood is just terrific it's 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 that spirit of wealth and growth and prosperity and the anticipation of potential 
I've got a really good feeling for this year. We are ready to go.